Researchers say adult stem cells may become the solution for millions of heart patients each year who have run out of treatment options. Common daily activities are a struggle, if not impossible. By assembling top medical and scientific minds, Theravite has created new treatments that may not just enhance and energize lives, but hopefully also prolong them. Presentations at the American Heart Association's scientific sessions showed significant improvement in most patients suffering from severe angina pectoris six months after receiving the Vessel therapy, as well as 93% reporting increased ability to exercise and 62% showed improvement in treadmill exercise capacity. The Geneva-based World Economic Forum named Theravite one of its 36 technology pioneers for 2006. Theravite's Vessel treatment has been featured in prominent magazines around the world. Are you suffering from congestive heart failure, coronary artery disease or ischemic heart disease, or cardiomyopathy? This video will introduce you to patients who have successfully completed the Vessel stem cell treatment and are now benefiting from improved cardiac function and are enjoying a life they thought was gone forever. Listen now to why stories like theirs are an inspiration to Theravite's commitment to help the millions of people worldwide who have given up hope for their serious heart condition. I had ha already had two open heart surgeries. So I uh, basically was told that a third bypass was not practical, the risk was greater, greater than the benefit. In 1992, I had my first heart attack, and I've had about seven cents. In 1998, uh, I had a massive heart attack in uh, Austin, Texas, and they recommended that I go home and prepare because they figured I had about two years left. I was trying to get some insurance, increase my insurance level, and and when the examination, I found my heart extremely enlarged. And I went to a specialist and, uh, and the, I found out that I had a defective heart valve born with it that deteriorated further. Being diabetic, I knew I couldn't have a new heart transplant, a regular heart transplant. So every time I had a heart attack, then they'd say, well, we need a new heart, but we can't do it. My heart doubled in size, all my valves are leaking, I have a heart damp, I had a severe heart damage. I got to the point last year that I could probably walk about a half a block without having to sit down. I couldn't do any physical exercises, irritatingly, so I'm kind of egotistical in a lot of ways. I've always been physically in good shape. At the time, my injection fraction was only an eight. I didn't know that. But I knew I was close to death because I, I couldn't, I had to prop myself up. I was huffing and puffing. I couldn't get no oxygen. I was just starving for oxygen all the time. It was getting to the point where I was tired all the time. So I was pretty well at the end. Sheba found the vest cell information on the internet and uh, we emailed him and told him my situation. Within 15 minutes from the time I emailed these, a gentleman by the name of Jerry Steele called and we started talking about it and then we moved fast forward into the thing. I went to my friend restaurant called Uncle John sweetheart of a friend, he said, boy, I got wonderful news for you. I said, what's so wonderful? Uh, I'm just very existing alive. I, and uh, he said, uh, well, there's something happened those stem cells with the Don Ho we seen on TV in, in Bangkok. I said, well, okay, I'll check that out. So that's when we started looking into the internet to see who else is doing this. And that's how I came up with uh, Tarabita. Everything they did uh, was practical and logical and made sense and they seemed to know exactly what they were doing. Went home, got on the internet, typed in <coughs> Bangkok, Thailand, uh, heart, stem cells and, and come up the first thing on the internet was Theravita. My daughter has a, uh, a relative of a friend that uh, is in medical research and did some research for us and found that the uh, people with Terravita had written articles for some of the American uh, medical magazines which 
gives them a lot of credibility. So, When I first contacted the Vessel or Theravita uh, and they told me what I needed and I went to my doctor and talked about it, the first thing of course out of his word was Bangkok. <laughs> then after he talked to the doctors and he talked to Don Margolis and he, they had long conversations, he was totally excited about it and they backed me 100%. I went to Bangkok uh, with a wheelchair under oxygen tank, very alive. And Dr. Sukum uh, took my echo later. My, my injection fraction was an eight. And Cerevita was uh, the highest risk patient that they ever did on. And it was very really questionable if it helped me or not because it's so far gone. I would have been dead in two months. They picked you up. They told you what was going on. You always knew what the day was going to be. Uh, and we found that uh, very comfortable. One of the fascinating things I found that once I got there and in the hospital was the fact that it was no big deal. I was in the hospital, it took them five minutes to draw blood. No pain, simple. The procedure is just like an angioplasty. In fact, it is less than an angioplasty because usually when they do an angioplasty on you, when they put the balloon up in you and blow it up, you have a mild heart attack. When I went in the hospital for the procedure to implant the stem cells, it was no different than doing an angioplast in the States. You lay down, they uh, do the insertion of the tubes into your heart, and the great thing about it, you can watch it. The, once the uh, fluids go into your heart, and it's just like watching TV. In fact, they actually sent me a CD that I can watch the whole procedure. I injected, went down to my capillaries in my lower left chamber of my heart, which was my, mus my most muscle damaged area. Injected 30 spots uh, of uh, over 100 million my own stem cells. While they were putting the stem cells in, doing the procedure, it's a strange feeling to watch those things happen. And you know that what's going into your heart is going to make a difference. There was nothing uh, no pain to it. Actually, it was interesting because I could see the monitor. And so when they put the cells in, I could see the cells going wherever where they wanted them to go. It was getting to the point where I was tired all the time. They didn't know if I was going to make it or not. They saved my life. I probably felt good the moment they were done. Because I think that tension and that stress of knowing the condition I was in. What in them in this hospital of uh, high quality, uh, I would have died anywhere else. But I lived, I come through, went immediately on the rehabilitation. I recovered very quickly and uh, went back to uh, Central Illinois, went to a uh, uh, system of exercise and the nurse's care. And with, I knew I was getting better. I started within a month, I started walking, I started feeling better. I, I, I knew my heart was getting better. I would say within three weeks I had a test and my injection fraction was up around the 30% from 11%. I could validly tell the difference. My friends could tell the color of my face. Uh, I had more energy in just three weeks.